Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone had a good holiday. I know I did. Got to spend it with some family. Got some nice presents. All sorts of cool stuff. So, we're going to finish up our Blockade Runner and Star Destroyer today. And then we're probably going to uh, embark on a big project for uh, the beginning of the new year. Uh, we're talking multi-video, multi, multi-video multi project because I'm thinking something big. Trying some new camera angles to see if I can't get some better footage for you folks until I can afford to, like, buy a better camera. So, we're going to work in this. I'm going to try and see if I can't get you some better close-ups. See, I'm going to try and work this out. Let me know if these new camera angles work for you or if they don't. Comment below. Um, so, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, base coat these with our um, primer. Which is, you know, my self serve my easy application surface primer then we're going to paint them black for an undercoating then we're going to go back this one will be painted off white and this will be painted uh, the battleship gray and then we'll do some highlighting and some uh, dry brushing and things like that and call these a nice little quick project so uh, I'll be right back and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with all that so uh, you just hold on tight and we'll see you in a few minutes Okay, while these dry, I'm going to go ahead and clean my airbrush and get ready to, uh, you know, the base coat black. And that will be our pre-shading. And then when we go over it with their primary color, so for the um, blockade runner, it'll be white. And for the Star Destroyer, it'll be a gray. We're going to use that black to basically bring out some of the uh, in-depth uh, detail. So let me clean up the airbrush and I'll be right back with you.
these are ready to go. I'm going to let them dry completely. Then we're going to focus on the base coat for the blockade runner. And then we'll do the base coat for the uh, Star Destroyer. And then we'll do detail work on each one. Uh, back in a little bit. Here we go. We're going to go with the white. Now remember, I'm not going to try and cover all the black. I want to use the black as the uh, shadowing. So, uh, let's see how this works out, shall we? There we go. I think that works. Not all the black is covered up. We got some nice variants of grays in there. A lot of the panel lines are still showing. We'll give it a nice wash. Well, actually, we'll paint the detail color on first. Then we'll give it a nice wash. And we'll move on from there. Next, let's get the gray onto the Star Destroyer, shall we? Yep. So that's next. And there we go. One to Star Destroyer in its light gray livery. So now we're going to do some detail work. And that'll pretty much finish these babies up. So, hold tight for the fun that is detail painting. Woo woo! <laughs> Be right back. Okay. So here we have our coloring guide. Can you see that okay? Maybe, maybe not. So we got red, some yellow, and some gray panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the red, and then I'm going to go on to the yellow and then the gray. And I'm going to go side by side, top, bottom, all that sort of stuff. And then we'll do some uh, chipping on those pieces primarily the red and we'll move on so for the yellow we're going to use Averlin Sunset Freezy and Gray for the gray and Evil Sun Scarlet for the red and then we'll do uh, some damage some washes and all that sort of stuff so let's go ahead and move the Star Destroyer to the side here and we will get to work. Hang tight.
Okay, so we've done a bit of a wash. I'm gonna let this first wash dry. And I'm gonna add a second wash. It's, uh, I thinned it out just a little too much for the rest of the body, so I wanna match it up to the engines. It's kinda nice and grayish dirty. So that'll be next. And then we'll start uh, adding some chipping on the red and uh, then we'll do a final uh, dry brush with a gray kind of just kind of fade everything together so uh, hold tight while this dries and we'll be right back so and remember the thing about a wash is if you get too much in one area you can sponge it off with your brush so it doesn't if it starts to pool up see like I can pull the pull it away there see so if it's pooling somewhere I don't want it just use your brush and uh, pull that pull that ink out so but it's really bringing out the detail today so I think one more light wash and we should be good and then we'll do the uh, chipping and everything be right back Okay, so, got the second coat on there. I'm gonna let that dry completely. Then we'll worry about doing some chipping and, and dry brushing. While that was going, I did a wash over the entire uh, Star Destroyer. It's looking kinda rough at the moment, but once I do a dry brush, that'll clear all that out. And that dry brush will be done with a light, with the the base gray so we're gonna let both of those dry completely and then uh, get right back to it Okay, now, for the chipping on the red, what I'm going to do is, you stay there, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of sponge, and that will give me a kind of a random... Uh, dabbing so we're just gonna dab that in some white paint dab it off just a little bit and uh, add some chipping in so just a little, little bit of white paint right there that's plenty not gonna do a lot the lid back on this baby and here we go
Okay, the chipping is done. You can overdo it so you don't want to. You can see we got the sponge chipping and it's nice and random, so that's good to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a whole dry brush with a large soft brush and we're going to go with a, um, a very pale uh, kind of a bone color, kind of an off white. So not quite white, but close enough. And that's going to kind of bring everything together. Then the last thing I'm going to do is dry brush the engines black so they're a little sooty. And that's really it. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm going around and you see right there, I'm just watching for anywhere some of that excess um, uh, wash is trying to gather. And it's only like one or two little spots. So those little problem spots are covered up and taken care of. So that's it. And we're going to be finishing this up in just a few minutes. Hang tight. Be right back. Canto 5 is all finished up. I'm pretty happy with this. It's a nice little kit. It's got lots of detail. You know, you get two kits for one, really. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it turned out really nice. Cool. And then we've got the Star Destroyer.
more soaps at the detail. Structure there. While we're at it, take a look at some of this detail. So there's the uh, landing bay, secondary bay. surface detail there. So, that is our Star Destroyer. And our Tantu 5. Okay, focus. Thank you. So, there they are. Nice little project, lots of fun. Spending more, t spent more time painting than I really did assembling. So, well, that's it. So, keep an eye out for where our next project's going to be. It's probably going to be a large one. Um, as always, feel free to comment on the video, uh, like and subscribe to uh, keep in touch and. Hang on for the next videos and everything else. And uh, as always, uh, until next time, keep on building. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the new year, folks. <laughs> have a good one.